Hi there, this is uh, Srikanth Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, so how to perform a linear search uh, algorithm uh, on an array. Okay. So linear search uh, is a very uh, basic algorithm uh, to perform a search operation. Okay. So let us start off with uh, the coding here. So first, let me take all the necessary uh, stuff like uh, header files, starting with the std h and a very basic header file like uh, colio.h and also we require here uh, std lib.h also so I will tell you why I am using this header file ok so as usual uh, why do main and everything is so all let me put the get ch also ok so uh, let us uh, perform this uh, linear search operation uh, in a different way so here, uh, so what is linear search? Uh, so you might all be knowing uh, well in advance. So linear search is uh, searching and for an element in a uh, list of uh, uh, elements uh, sequentially one after the other. Okay. So it is uh, performance-wise, uh, linear search takes the worst case uh, complexity as order of n. Okay. So which means that you need to perform uh, n number of uh, iterations. Okay. Uh, n number of iterations to find. Uh, the element okay so if the, if the element you are going to search is the last element then you might uh, uh, need perform uh, n number of uh, iterations to, re to, to reach until that element okay so performance wise this is very uh, uh, not that good uh, algorithm okay so uh, here I wanted to implement this uh, program uh, in a different way so first uh, let me take an array here okay so first let me take an array let me say of uh, 50 numbers okay so i'm taking an array of 15 numbers and i wanted to uh, generate some uh, random numbers and store in that array okay so let me put take a variable uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, the looping just taken a variable for the purpose of uh, looping here uh, so i variable i okay excuse me in the same way, uh, so let me take uh, uh, the key item here. Okay, so the key item is going to be the one uh, which you are uh, going to find, or else let, let us say that let us put it as item only. So, item which you are going to be uh, searching using the linear search algorithm, the item which you are going to search using the linear search algorithm. Okay, so first let us uh, do one thing uh, let us uh, stuff our uh, array with some random numbers here okay so for this purpose i am taking a so for loop here because we need to uh, we need to create uh, 50 random numbers and then uh, store it, those random numbers in our uh, array so that so that uh, we have uh, some stuff to search within using our linear search algorithm okay so uh, arr of i is equal to so error of i is equal to uh, let us say rand is a function which is defined in the std lib dot h header file uh, percentage 100 so here it means that uh, here the syntax uh, means that uh, it generates a random number within the within below 100 okay so here uh, we mean that uh, we are just generating the random numbers within the range of 0 to 100 okay okay so here we are uh, uh, we have our uh, random uh, numbers generated and stored parallelly in the array so now what we are going to do is uh, so now what we are uh, going to do is uh, let us print that uh, array first okay so let us check what are uh, what are the random numbers we are having what what are the uh, stuff we are having let us put it on the screen here okay i less than 50 once again i plus plus and let us uh, use our uh, traditional uh, printer statement okay so all the basic stuff uh, let us put percentage t slash t comma arr of i okay so then with the uh, whatever the stuff we have uh, loaded into our array also okay let us run the program until now if we are uh, good to go uh, it will execute without any errors probably i hope so always my antivirus stops my execution and checking uh, some sort of scanning and all here okay could have stopped my antivirus. It's my mistake only. Okay. 
Oops, it's taking too long. Okay. So we should get the stuff here. I don't know for what reason it's not coming. Let us increase the font size to a bit. That is it, and so on and so forth. I don't know what's the problem here. I have uh, generated some random numbers parallel and have executed them. Let's run the program once again. Oh, I have done a silly mistake. I have missed a percentage D here. Okay. So now if you run the program, so uh, we have the stuff of uh, numbers stuffed into our array here. So starting from 42, uh, so some sort of uh, random numbers were being uh, generated. Okay. So we have some stuff to search within. So now let us uh, go to uh, take that uh, element which is which is needed to be searched here. Okay. So let us say uh, printf slash in slash t. So let us say enter the item. So enter the item to be found here. Okay. So we are just scanning in the item uh, which we wanted to search from our randomly generated numbers which were stored inside the array. So let us say percentage t comma ampersand the item. So for that purpose only we have taken here the uh, variable item here. Okay. So again we need a for loop here uh, since we have uh, 50 numbers uh, within uh, 50 random numbers generated. So again we need to have a for loop and then within that for loop. So let me take another variable here which is very essential let us say found a flag kind of variable found is equal to zero okay so found is equal to zero so if the element so if we need an if condition here to check whether uh, sequentially check with each and every uh, element in the array so with our uh, item here okay so if uh, arr of i is equal to item okay so if it is the condition is satisfied you can then you can say that found is equal to one okay so found is equal to one so if that is not the case uh, let, let me explain if the element is found there is no case in point of still uh, searching for the element beyond the uh, elements in the array so we can here we can use a break statement here directly okay so if we come out of the loop here so if the element is found if found Okay, so you can say the item, you can say the item, you can say the message something, you can put a message here, item found, found item found, okay, so if that is not the case here, okay, so if that is not the case, we can say that, if, uh, uh, if that is not the case, the found is always set to zero as we have done uh, initially, so that is not the case, we can say, printf slash and slash t so item not found okay so item found and item found item not found or simply put some clear messages like item found and item not found okay so item not found okay so here okay so we are done with our uh, sequential searching here also sequential the actual the code for searching goes here which is very easy so taking each and every element from the array index and comparing with the item which we have uh, scanned here if the, if the element is found if the condition is satisfied then we are setting the found uh, flag to the one and we are coming out of the loop here by using the break statement so now we run the code until now if everything goes well so here we are so here we have the stuff here stuffed into the array random numbers so randomly if you say 33 if that exists inside that array it would it would give you its item whether its item is found okay so since the element is not there in the array it's saying that not found okay so again i can make some sort of uh, small games uh, guessing games like that so you can, you can say some 77 item not found so again i'm running the code here if i say 42 i hope it's there in the randomly generated array here so it's 42 item found okay so if we revise the code once again, uh, how we have uh, performed this uh, sequential search here. So first we have taken an array and we have stuffed that array with some randomly generated numbers here. And then we have just outputted that array here and the actual code of searching uh, begins here. Okay, search logic begins here. The first we have, we need to scan uh, item which we need to be uh, found 
in the airway and then uh, by using the, with the help of for loop and uh, condition here if the item is found at uh, so we are setting the flag to one and uh, and we have come out of that uh, for loop and in the outside if the item is found then we can easily say that uh, item is found and if, uh, if it is not the case and can say that item is not found okay so in this way uh, we can perform uh, the linear search operations so hope you uh, like the tutorial so put your val valuable feedback in the form of uh, comments in the comment section so see you in the next lesson goodbye